Welcome to MAT 2LB, booklet number 7, Geometry, lesson number 4, Area. So the first three lessons, we dedicated those to finding the perimeter, the length around or the distance around the outside of two-dimensional shapes. And today we're going to be talking about area. And area, by definition, is not the distance around the outside of something, but all of the stuff that would be contained within that perimeter. So we're still talking about two-dimensional shapes, but instead of talking about all the distance around the outside, we're talking about all the stuff that would fill it. So a common way um, to think about it, like people use the like a piece of paper, something like that, which really has a left and a right and an up and a down, but it doesn't really have a depth. That's what we're talking about when we're talking about area, something that all the area that would be used to fill two dimensions. So again, we're going to use some common two-dimensional figures today in determining their area, rectangles and triangles. And we're going to start with a triangle. Now, if we're trying to figure out the area of a triangle, there's a formula, and I've included it up over here. I'll put a little highlighter box around it so you can see it. And this formula is the area equals the base times the height, that's what the B and the H stand for, divided by 2. So part of the process, anytime we want to find the area of a triangle, is to first indicate or, or determine what those variables are. Do we know what B is? Do we, know, do we know what H is? So let's have a look at example number one. Find the area of the following triangle. So here we have a triangle. The base is going to be, and I'll try to do the base in blue, the base is always going to be sort of the bottom, the piece that we're talking about. Um, uh, when we're talking about the base will be the lowest piece on our triangle, and the base of this triangle is going to be 21 centimeters. Now the height, and this is important because the height is not always going to appear like it's going straight up and down. Sometimes the height uh, will look like it's going on a slant, but the most important piece that we'll want to remember about height is this little, and I'll do it here in red, is this little 90 degree corner, this little square here that they put in the corner of this triangle. The relationship between the height, which in this triangle is 22, and the base, which is 21, they are perpendicular to each other. And what that means is that they are at right angles to each other. And that's important. That's how we can designate the height from the base. The height can't go off on a slant. It's got to be at 90 degrees perfectly. So that's what that little square there means in the corner. And now that we've determined the height and base of this triangle, now we can put these into the formula to solve it. So the formula, as I said, equals base times the height divided by 2. Now let's substitute in those values that we know. We know the base is 21. We know that the height is 22, and we're going to be dividing it by 2. So the area, now let's type this into our calculator. We have 21 times 22 divided by 2 is going to give us 231. Now our unit of measure is centimeters. But when we're talking about area, we're not talking about just a collection of straight lines being added together. You'll notice we multiplied these two values together. That's going to result in centimeters squared. That's the unit of measure we use when we're talking about area. No matter what area, triangles, um, rectangles, odd shapes, circles, any of that stuff, they're all going to have a squared unit of measure. All right, let's go try A here together. Try to find the area of the next two triangles. So here we have another triangle. Again, our first step is to try to articulate what is the base and what is the height. So the base, as I said, that tends to be the bottom, the lowest side that we see. So in this triangle, our base appears to be 15 meters. And the height is always going to be perpendicular to that. Oops. Let me pick the right color. So we are going for the height perpendicular. Again, we have that nice little right angle there, that nice little red square that's right there that tells us we've identified the correct height, and that height is going to be 16. Oh, I lost the top off my 5. There we go. So we've got a base of 15, a height of 16. Now's the time for us to use our formula. So we'll write it out again. The area equals the base times the height divided by 2. The area of this triangle is 15 times 16 divided by 2. And now we're going to grab our calculator and give that a try. So 15 times 16 divided by 2 gives us an area of 120. Now my unit of measure is meters. But because I multiplied this in two dimensions, we're going to get this to be meters squared. And that's how we calculate the area 
of a triangle. So what I'd like you to do is have a look at this one. It's a little unique. Remember what I said about that 90 degree corner and the relationship between the base and the height. So there's a little 90 degree corner there. Um, give this one a try on your own. When you're all done, you think you've got it, come on back and we'll see how you did. All right, you're back. Let's get a look at this. The base and height we want to articulate first. So the base and height, the base on this triangle, again the bottom, it is labeled as 20 feet. So there is our base. Now let's take a look at our height. Now it's interesting, our height this time is actually outside of the triangle, but we still will calculate that as the height and the diagram is telling us that that is a height of 28 feet. So we have our base, we have our height. Let's use our formula now. The area equals the base times the height divided by two. Area of this triangle equals 20 times 28 divided by two and we grab our calculator and work this out. So we have 20 times 28 divided by two gives us an area of 280. My unit of measure is feet squared. And that's how we go about calculating the area of a triangle. The area of a rectangle is a little more straightforward um, in that one of the characteristics of a rectangle is that all of the corners are at 90 degrees to each other. So all of these corners are at 90. Now they don't typically bother to write it in if they're telling you it's a rectangle, but they're there, which helps us because again, we need the length and the width to be perpendicular to each other in order for us to be calculating the area. So in example two, the first thing it's asking us to do is find the length. And the length is going to be 28. This side right here we'll call the length. Now the side that's perpendicular to it, we're gonna call that one the width, and in this rectangle it's going to be 15 centimeters. So now we use the formula. And I'll just jump back and again I'll just highlight that for us so we can see it. The area equals the length times the width. So in this rectangle area equals length times width and the area will be equal to in this tri or in this rectangle rather 28 times 15. That area will be when we grab our calculator 28 times 15 gives us an area of 420. My unit of measure is centimeters, but because this is area, and I multiplied those two values together, I'll be getting centimeters squared. All right, there's example A. I'd like you to hit pause here and try this one on your own, since these are fairly straightforward. When you're all done, come on back and we'll see how you did. All right, you're back. Let's get a look at this rectangle. We want to find the, ba um, the length, rather, and we want to find the width. So it looks like our length here at the top is going to be 55 milliliters, uh, millimeters, sorry, and our width is gonna be that other side, which is 15 millimeters. Now we just have to apply our formula. The area equals length times the width. The area of this rectangle equals 55 times 15 we're going to put this into our calculator. So 55 times 15 gives us 825. Our unit of measure is millimeters squared. Last example. Again, here I'd like you to hit pause. Try to do B on your own. When you got an answer, come on back and we'll see how you did. Remember those units. All right, you're back. Let's get a look at this one. We want to find the length and the width to start. So the length Let's call this the length right here, sort of along the top. That's going to be 21 meters. And the width here down the side is going to be 49 meters. So we have those. Let's use our area formula equals the length times the width for a rectangle. The area of this rectangle will be equal to 21 times 49. The area, let's grab our calculator. That's going to give us 21 times 49. Gives us an area of 1,029. Unit of measure is meters squared. So this is how you calculate the area of triangles and rectangles by first finding the variables and then uh, substituting them into the formulas to calculate the area, remembering that your units are squared. If you have any troubles, go back and try some of these examples again. If you're feeling good, Tackle that worksheet, and we'll see you in lesson number five.